Hello, I'm Alice. I live in Southeast Michigan, planting zone six. I like to share recipes, organic gardening methods, and preserving techniques with my viewers who love to cook and garden, so therefore they get the most out of their harvest. In today's episode, I'm making beef stew, but special using some Guinness and my Santa Maria. I like to take the flour and mix in the Santa Maria and the flour that I use is a white wheat sprouted. So it's actually got the nutrition from the sprouts and they dried it and they made it into a powder form. It's nutritious, it's better for you and it's actually got a nice texture to it. The reason you use flour and seasoning is it will help the flavor of the beef and it will lock in the moisture once you sear it in a pan. You want to sear the edges. You don't want to fully cook the beef. So you don't, you want it on a high heat, but you want to do this quickly. So constantly mix, make sure all sides are seared and then remove out of the Dutch oven. To make an easy roux, just go in and whisk some flour into some olive oil. That's going to be your thickening agent for the stew. Santa Maria is a very simple, universal seasoning. Salt, garlic, peppercorn blend, and from the garden, you're going to have the parsley, flat leaf Italian specifically. The other thing is you want to use fresh thyme for this recipe as well. Once the onions are translucent, add in the Santa Maria. Stout beers have such an amazing complexity and add so much flavor to a stew and helps tenderize, of course. Bring the stew mixture up to a nice simmer and let it thicken up, then add in the thyme. The tomato paste adds a richness to the stew and also helps the consistency of the thickness. The bay leaves are incredible for adding complexity to the flavor profile. I like to save the broth when I do chuck roast or anything like that in the slow cooker in the Dutch oven. And I use them again when I create a recipe because it's already been incredibly flavored. So it starts off the flavor profile, quite excellent. So save your broths, don't just pitch them down the drain. Add the beef back into the stew once you're up to a good simmer. Have the oven preheated to 320 degrees. You're gonna have the lid on of the Dutch oven, place it in for two hours and 25 minutes, then take out, remove the lid, put in the potatoes, cook for another 45 minutes. If you enjoyed today's episode, click that like button so therefore the algorithm will work in your favor. By subscribing to the channel, you will be notified of the new content. Thank you very much for viewing today. 